Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop on Etsy. Today I wanted to talk about something that's known as Japan Redware. And I've got three examples to show this is pretty common what it looks like. So you've got two um, jugs here that are actually labeled little brown jug and this one little brown jug. This one's cute because he's got a little drunk guy right there in the opening. This one's a little more plain on the other side. And then in the middle, I have what so far for me has been the most interesting example I've found, which is this pirate guy with four little shot glass mugs that came with him that match. So um, the interesting thing about the Japanese redware is that it will all be kind of these brownish tones with gold and red. And the reason it's called that is because if you flip these pieces underneath, you can see, let me grab this guy, that there's red, it's made from red pottery. So that's one of the identifying characteristics and very likely how it got its name. So this piece right here, both of the jugs have music boxes built in. This one I'm gonna show you is a little more interesting. I'll wind it up and let you watch the little dude circles around his light pole while the music plays and is playing Lil Brown Jug. So it's kind of a fun little kitschy item that you would probably put on display in your bar area. Um, the other jug doesn't have a dancing man, sadly, but it does also play the same tune. And I'll show you on this one because I think it'll be easier to see. You can see right here, it's got a very tiny label that says, made in Japan. Some of them don't still have their labels on, but that's one of the ways I guess people know that that's what this stuff is, if you're lucky enough to find one with a label. Um, I like this pirate guy. His uh, stopper is actually, hold on, let's see. Pretty clean right there. You could actually use these. Well, I'm just gonna leave him decapitated for now. You could actually use these for liquor. This one also has a pretty clean cork. You could put something in there if you wanted to. That's up to you, but they're just fun and they look cute. And they're usually not very expensive. So if you want something that's gonna bring a little personality to your bar and not cost a ton of money, uh, these little redware items are a nice choice. 